okay we can start then uh, okay good afternoon ladies and gentlemen uh, a very good afternoon i hope uh, you have having a good day uh, so today uh, from enterprise support uh, we are tr we are here for a session uh, on redefine digital innovations with sap ui ux strategy uh, so this is one of the initiatives uh, in which we help our customer to redefine their digital experience uh, along with industry so basically me sanmitra saha as an enterprise support advisor from the enterprise support team india and we have uh, our speaker today uh, pravesh verma and niveta gopinan uh, so the basic intent of this and your journey with sap fiori uh, so over to you pravesh uh, maybe uh, just a few norms during the meeting during the session if you can just drop in uh, your name and the organization from which you come from uh, and how you are feeling for the day uh, just to keep everybody and we know each other also uh, so just in the chat box you can use that to mention your name and the organization you come from uh, during the session also uh, uh, we will take up questions so to keep the session more interactive we would request everybody to put down your questions there uh, speaker would take up questions in between however most of the questions we'll try to take at the end uh, yeah over to you pravesh Pravesh, you can unmute your line. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Sanmitra, for that. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, uh, and thank you, Sanmitra, for a quick round of uh, introduction for me. So, uh, before we start, as Sanmitra said, uh, while the forum would be open for the questions in between, uh, so if you have got a question which is with regards to the understanding of any topic please feel free to ask but uh, generally i would recommend that uh, if you can ask your question for the end of the session please okay so quickly uh, today's session is uh, mostly around uh, the adoption of the ui ux strategies provided uh, for your organization which is best suited for your business and uh, that is leveraging sap fury for your business requirements so for today, the learning objective would be the first one uh, would be to redefine the experience of the next generation enterprise workforce. So uh, as we know that traditionally we have been using all those SAP GUI screens and uh, the user experience has always been a challenge before the introduction of uh, Fury, which is in line with the latest UI UX strategies by different platforms. So uh, uh, for people who are from the technical background, I'm sure they would be knowing that Fury is based uh, underlying layer for Fury is SAP UI5, which is in turn uh, extending the features of HTML5. So we would be, first of all, understanding the uh, different advantages of Fury and the benefits of Fury in the, this topic. The second would be uh, the learning journeys, which you can have uh, and which you can learn uh, via the value apps. So, uh, I think you would be aware about the value maps uh, being an ES offering for all our enterprise support customers. So we do have a Fury value map, which is available for the consumption by all our customers. So we will do a quick uh, walkthrough uh, for people who don't know how to register to, the, to those value maps, what are the contents, how to uh, access those contents and things like that. This part of the session would be useful for them. The third part would include uh, uh, the walkthrough of the Fury app library. Uh, for people who are planning to move on Fury apps and implementing them and people who are already on S4 HANA, primarily we have seen the motive of the customers is also to uh, utilize the features of SAP Fury. However, in the landscape it's become really difficult to identify that which all Fury apps are most relevant for their landscape. So this section we'll be talking about that. And then we have a free offering for all our enterprise support customers which is a Fury app recommendation report. We will talk about uh, the Fury app recommendation report in detail under this section. The fourth section would uh, cover the enablement platforms and the content which are available for the implementation of SAP Fury, uh, which is again uh, utilizing uh, the SAP val uh, Fury value map. 
and last but not the least is around the customer success stories which we have uh, which we have got from the customers and the customers have shared their experiences for using sap fury so without further ado i think we are good to go with the session now okay so agenda i think we have quickly worked through it uh, for people who understands sap language it's it's kind of a crisp one the first section will talk about sap fury the second one is around the vlu maps the third one is around the fury app library fourth far which is fury app recommendation report the third one is the consumption of egis and mtes the egis is expert guided implementation and meet the expert sessions which are part of enablement and last one is the realizing the benefits of fury apps so before starting the session i think this will be a good idea to understand each other and for that we have a quick poll and may i request anmitra to kindly publish the poll yeah so you see the poll here and kindly note that we have three questions in this poll so you might have to also scroll down a little bit uh, to answer all the three questions we will wait for another 5 seconds okay give uh, uh, give about uh, uh, okay so typically <laughs> poll just give a minute uh, for people to respond please sure mukesh fair enough so i hope that uh, we have uh, got everyone to respond to it but uh, if not uh, maybe i'll next time i'll keep that in mind that will keep the poll open for one minute okay quickly i also wanted to share this data because this is a kind of a relevant data uh, which will also define the way we will be taking this session further so uh, the first question says that uh, what is the current uh, uh, landscape which you have mostly i see the people around 69% people are on s4 hana which is good and i see that there is a lot of potential of utilizing this session for the implementation of s4 uh, fury apps for you for people uh, for people with the uh, which are on sap erp non hana database and hana database there are still a potential and we'll talk about it further while we are discussing around the fury app recommendation report the second question was around when are you planning to move on s4 hana if there are any plans so i see there are still uh, as we see there are a lot of customers who are already on live on s4 hana so the session is very much relevant for them however for some who are already planning to move on s4 hana uh, the section which talks about the fury app recommendation report and how to utilize and ensure that you have in uh, leverage all the functionalities and the features of fury app this section would be really helpful and do you already use fury apps uh, only few standard apps around seven people and extensively around three and no we are yet to explore so for all of you this uh, all the categories uh, i think this session would be really useful for and this gives us a quite a good uh, highlight of uh, what is the current mix of our customers here okay so thank you for that input i'll move further with that so uh, fury in nutshell uh, i think uh, mostly people are aware of it but uh, for uh, for the understanding perspective uh, the fury is a technology which was uh, fury is a ui ux technology which was released uh, from sap in 2013 so uh, uh, with all the changes which was happening during that time around uh, the user interfaces and uh, uh, the utilization of the ui ux strategies sap also thought that uh, it's it's it's, uh, it's a time when they have to also modify and come up with some kind of uh, uh, ui technology which suits best the next generation of workforce so uh, you see now with fury it's it's kind of a uh, kind of a ui ux platform which is very much compatible with your various devices be it laptops or pdas or mobile phones it is responsive uh, framework uh, apart from that we are using all the design principles which are adopted by all the major uh, ui ux uh, technologies so uh, we have various forums we have uh, user groups as well for fury who are uh, working day in day out uh, even the customers also contribute to them in those uh, user groups uh, 
if we talk about mostly around the benefits part of it, what is the benefit for the Fury? I think uh, what we have observed is that uh, it has all definitely increased the productivity. And by increasing the productivity, it means the apps are faster and are direct, uh, and the customers have a direct access to the relevant information in the applications. And what do you mean by that is, for example, you have you can have multiple data sources for you. Uh, there can be different production systems. However, uh, you would like to bring them all the relevant data which you want to see on one screen. So Fury, uh, by uh, utilizing uh, the Fury Launchpad uh, screen, if you would have seen the Launchpad home screen, as the Launchpad screen, you would see that mostly it is comprising of uh, uh, the tiles. So Fury, uh, it's, it's all Fury tiles. Okay, so you are already uh, using it and think most of the customers are already using SAP Launchpad for even raising the messages. So all uh, Fury dependent uh, UIs and the applications are uh, released in the form of tiles and customer utilizes them, which is kind of an aggregation of the uh, relevant data for the customer. The second advantage is the transparency, for example, uh, which is basically on the items which is most needed, uh, which requires the attention of the customer. So which means that, for example, uh, you are acting as a manager or an IT head for your organization and there is an important uh, task which has to be completed by you, which has been submitted in the system just now. So a notification pane is there at the top uh, top right, which notifies the, uh, uh, the user of that particular Fury app that there is an actionable item available for you to act upon. The best part of it is it's not just notify you, but it also gives you an insight of what exactly that particular action item would be. So it gives a comprehensive way of uh, showing all those notification and the important tasks to the users. It increases uh, the satisfaction at the end of the day. Uh, also, uh, uh, if you talk about the benefit, it allows the user to take the quick and informed actions because you see, we. Uh, collaborate with different backend uh, data sources. You can even, uh, we have uh, we have three types of uh, Fury applications, first of all. So uh, one is, which is released by SAP, which we term as standard Fury applications. The second one are the customized uh, Fury application, which are basically taking the standard Fury application as a base application, and then for further customizing those apps based on the user needs. And third is the custom apps, which is designed from the scratch. So we have uh, various development tools available for that. For example, we have uh, Fury uh, mobile SDKs, we have web uh, UIDs, which is available. I think the, uh, the customers who are extensively using it, and if they are not just using the SAP Fury apps, they would be knowing about these development platforms. Even for the customization of the standard apps, you would need uh, these platforms. So uh, I think, uh, uh, from the technology standpoint, I, we have already talked about this, where we uh, have talked about the Fury Launchpad. Uh, in Fury, uh, while we talk about the Fury elements, it's nothing but uh, the different type of UI elements which are available as part of uh, SAP Fury offering. Okay, when we talk about the designing principles, this is this is again an important part because uh, uh, Fury is not just a simple UI UX technology but it is also a role-based technology, uh, which means that when we are talking about the roles, so for example, in your organization, if there's a person who is responsible for the creation of the sales order, then this person should not be able to see any other Fury tile for that matter, if that's the only role he is performing. So in this case, we have a role-based access to all the Fury tiles, which you can configure even in the backend. And there we have a concept of tiles, which we have already discussed and catalogs. So you can plug various tiles based on roles under one catalog. That's how it is shown on the UI. So a person having a specific task, just create a, a reference uh, of that particular uh, tile to that role and assign that role to a user, that's it. So you need not have to show if each and every task and a tile to a user and the entire uh, access to the Fury application is a role based. Then it is adaptive and simple, which we have already talked about. We have various different use cases where we require data from different data sources, where we have a different work list combined. For example, we have different work lists from different systems. Uh, if you remember in the enterprise portal uh, era, we used to have our own work list defined, which was coming as a first page to as a task, task list items. 
we have uh, different portals so we have different tasks as well but if we want to just club it using the fury technology what we can do is we can have different sources attached to the task list and those will be shown to your once one access point via the fury launchpad as one time it is simple we have already seen that and people who have uh, already using they would uh, realize that it is simple to access all those uh, data and all those analysis which was earlier difficult we used to run uh, different transactions to get different data and different analysis but when we are talking about fury it is a comprehensive inclusion of all the different uh, analysis which we would like to see on one screen for taking an informed decision so that also provides an intuitive experience that is what coherent is talking about okay uh, so uh, this is a short summary of uh, how we have evolved as uh, a UAE strategy from Fury standpoint. So on May uh, 15, 2013 was the first time when SAP has done a press release that uh, SAP is releasing a technology, UAE technology called Fury. And uh, within one week, around 300 plus applications was released by SAP. And uh, with the high usage of those Fury apps in the, uh, and with the agenda of increasing the adoptability of Fury, uh, this number has increased within one year from 300 to around 500 apps. In 2016, uh, when uh, 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 Fury 2.0 was released, which was also added within the, the flagship product of S4 HANA, so that was a time when uh, SAP started utilizing SAP Fury for even for the HANA, S4 HANA uh, releases. So you see, if you have access to the Fury app library, if not, we will see in the demo as well. But in the Fury app library, you will see a proper categorization of the apps, whether they are applicable for S SAP S4 HANA or for SAP any uh, or for any DB or uh, HANA DB. So uh, in 2016, the release was done, which was specifically uh, also including all S4 HANA related uh, functions. And in 2019, uh, a new version of uh, Fury was released, uh, which is a kind of an intelligent uh, integrated uh, screens, which is having a much more data analysis. Uh, it was also released uh, for uh, some Lighthouse applications, which is for SAP S4 Cloud. Uh, and S4 implementation, uh, lands, uh, on prem implementations. Okay, this is a short uh, video. I think uh, this is just for the people who have not experienced the Fury for now, but would like to see the capabilities of Fury. Uh, by looking at this video, you will see how intuitive and how easy it's uh, to use the Fury apps. So I'm just playing the video now. SAP Fiori 3 brings together consistency, intelligence, and integration to deliver a modern user experience across all of SAP's products. Eight initial requirements have been identified to harmonize the look and feel of our product portfolio. Consistency empowers you to get up to speed faster, ensures you make fewer errors, and even boosts motivation on the job. By leveraging machine intelligence, your work can be even more productive. The system identifies and calls your attention to critical business situations and then gives you recommendations about the best action to take. Conversational user experience further improves the way you work by streamlining your interactions. With a new SAP Fiori 3 integrated home, one environment provides you with access to data across multiple products. All your work items and to-dos can be accessed through the consolidated task area where you can get an overview of your priorities. Overall, SAP Fiori 3 ensures a seamless and consistent user experience throughout the user's workday, getting rid of needless clutter and navigation. SAP is applying consistency, intelligence, and integration to selected end-to-end -end business scenarios, improving the way users experience SAP software and the intelligent enterprise suite. Okay, so this video actually talks about the, uh, the newer release of SAP uh, Fury 3.0, 
but mostly it is built upon uh, SAP two, uh, Fury 2.0. So uh, the things which are included additionally are the conversational UIs, which which, which will give you an access to a chat systems, uh, the, the inclusion of the notifications along with the data analysis uh, part of it. So uh, analytics is also embedded within within the different notifications. So we we with Fury 3.0 can leverage all those functionalities for different systems. Okay, so the next part was, uh, uh, as we discussed in the beginning in the agenda, uh, it's around how, how do you go ahead and uh, implement SAP Fury for yourself. So uh, I am not sure how many of you are already aware about the value maps, but under enterprise support, we have a offering called a value maps. So uh, value maps here actually provides you a definite path of a learning journey if you want to go ahead and implement Fury. We have different value maps and one which we will be talking about today is a digital innovation value map. Within it, we have three different sections, but we will be focusing only on uh, Fury uh, value map today. Uh, I'll quickly show you the demo and a walkthrough of this value map, but I'll run through the slide once. So this is how the value map looks like. You might have to register yourself to access those value maps. All the enterprise support customers are allowed to uh, access these value maps after the registration. The only condition is that you should have a valid test user ID with you. So here, once you uh, uh, traverse to the value maps, you have to use a SAP Fury value map from a digital innovation value maps. And by this, we see different types of learning journeys. I think uh, it will be much more clearer if we quickly move on to the demo. This. Just let me know if you are able to also see my web browser. Is my web browser available? Are you able to see my web browser as well? Uh, yes, yes okay thank you okay so uh, for the enterprise support customers what you have to do is first of all if you're already signed up then you can simply click on uh, click on access value maps else you would have to sign up so for sign up it's a simple process of clicking here and providing your relevant information using your s user id uh, there is a form which you have to fill and then you can move ahead and access the value map since uh, I'm a part of SAP, I have a single sign-on available for me. So I'll simply move on the value map for SAP Fury. So you click on this button of access value map. Uh, this will load a screen for you, uh, which, is, uh, which will give you the list of all the available value maps uh, under this offering. This will take a little time, please. So once you land, uh, once you come to this landing page, what you have to do is you have to click on the explore value maps and here you can see the list of all the value maps available for the exit of the customer. So, uh, we have a lot of different uh, uh, value maps available. I think you can uh, refer to them later on, but today we will be just focusing on the digital, digital innovation value map, which is for SAP Fury. So we'll click here. And that's where we are inside the digital innovation value map will go to the SAP Fury. So what this value map actually helps you with is, is for example, you try and uh, search for different content on available under this topic of SAP Fury. What you will do is you'll go on Google, you'll try and search the relevant contents, or you will find different courses, you'll find open SAP courses, different enablement, different blogs, uh, many videos published by SAP, non-SAP. So there is this data which is a kind of a, uh, ununited or kind of a, a scattered data. So here, what we do is we, under SAP Fury learning journey, what we have done is we have defined learning journeys for each of the value map. So for example, you start, you want to start afresh with SAP Fury, then you see that, okay, you come to the first uh, section of it. First of all, you would like to understand what SAP Fury X UX is all about. Then you, we have different blogs which are available. We have different EGIs and MTEs, meet the expert sessions which are available. So if you want to just uh, uh, learn about uh, this, uh, this particular topic of SAP Fury Cloud, which is primarily around the SAP, uh, SAP Cloud Platform, you can simply click on the meet the experts. So these are some of the sessions which are also released by SAP. 
Uh, so similarly, we have different sections as per the maturity of the customer with respect to this topic. So for example, if you are already aware about the UI UX strategy and Fury, then you would simply would like to implement uh, the Fury apps. And maybe you can just, you would like to just start it from here uh, rather than just going through the entire list of the previous sections. Okay, so you uh, likewise, we have uh, uh, access to Fury app library. We'll come to this one later on, but uh, this uh, learning journey will help you to align with what exact result you are looking for. So for example, you today would like to go ahead and implement Fury apps. You, you can simply come over here, uh, access one of the documents, which is talking about a deployment option, the system landscape recommendations. You can even attend uh, six hours expert guided implementation. Uh, for this, you have to also register uh, yourself. And this is a, a kind of a guided experience uh, with our expert on this particular topic of deployments. Similarly, we have uh, uh, after the implementation, if you if you are already implementing, you, there can be different uh, CQCs. The continuous quality checks, uh, the customers who are already utilizing CQCs would be knowing that these continuous quality checks would help you to further uh, optimize your uh, implementations or ensure that the implementations are uh, smooth enough. We have go live support CQCs and uh, further topics like this. So all in all, uh, the learning journey actually helps you to uh, take the advantage of all the offerings from SAP side so that you can uh, basically consume uh, the enterprise support offerings. Along with that, you uh, wherever you are with respect to the phase of your project, you know that which particular uh, content, enablement content will help you. Okay, so even uh, even if you have already implemented your Fury apps and you want to troubleshoot some of your Fury apps or monitor the utilization of the Fury apps, you can use these contents, which is a kind of, if you already know it, it's good enough. If not, then these contents will help you. Okay, similarly, uh, the next part of it. So this is primarily talking about uh, the Fury uh, value maps. So within the value map, if you are here and you would like to know how many, of, uh, which all Fury apps are available, what you can do is also you can simply click on here, which will directly take you to the Fury app library. Fury app library is a aggregation of all the standard Fury apps, which has been released by SAP. So you get a list of more than 12,000 30 apps which are available currently, which are released by SAP. These all are standard apps. So if you remember the way we started in 2013, we started with around 300 Fury apps. And today, if we see there are more than 12,000 12, apps which are available. And this is continuously growing. So we keep on adding to this total number of apps, which you can see over here. So we keep on adding the standard Fury apps from SAP side here. So within this, you can search the apps uh, based on different filter criteria. For example, if you, uh, you would like to uh, search based on the LOB, you can even do that or rather industry, you can even do that. So for example, construction and operations or consumer products, you simply click on that particular industry. And then uh, these are the available apps, which you can see over here. Or if you want, you can even, uh, if you remember the, uh, the transaction code, for example, customer, uh, if you have been using VS01, so you just try and search for that particular app uh, from here and see if that app is available. So you can see the list of all the available uh, apps which are here, but, uh, even by uh, entering the uh, transaction code. Okay, so I'll simply take one example to showcase how these apps would help you. So let me just pick up any of uh, the LOB. So for example, let me just take a HR and try and use my travel request. So normally, how does it go? So uh, in earlier cases, uh, it would have been the person who is traveling. If he has to raise a travel request, he would basically log into the SAP system, uh, would create travel requests in the SAP system and submit it. 
for the manager who is approving the travel request, he has to again go back in the work list item and see if there is any open travel request available in the inbox. And then uh, subsequently they see and check the different uh, data which is available for that travel request, cross verify that data with, with the norms of the company and then finally approve it. It's, it's a complex process where uh, which is also not handy. However, if we try and implement the Fury app for the same scenario, first of all, it is, as we have seen, it is platform independent, which means that uh, this is available on the mobiles. The people who are raising the request can also raise the request via their mobiles and same is the case with the uh, approval. So uh, if we click on any of the apps, for example, here we have clicked on the My Travel Request app we see that uh, uh, the documentation of this particular app, which is talking about the key features of this request, uh, this particular uh, standard app. Uh, so you can uh, read this and can understand that what exactly is the feature of uh, this Fury app and whether this is uh, relevant for your business case or not. Uh, when we want to uh, see that which all database this support, so you have to check this parameter of databases and you see that this is available for any DB which eventually means that this app can be uh, used even for a non-HANA database. So this is available for, uh, for your uh, ECC system, the, the ERP system, which is not on HANA database or uh, any of the ERP system, which is not even S4 HANA. Uh, here is the form factor, which is talking about that, which platform, uh, in, on what all platform you can see this. So this gives you a, a quick snapshot of that. If you want to further uh, read through the documentation of this app, what you can do is you can simply click on the app documentation and this will take you the help.sap uh, link for this particular app. So, so you see there is a very extensive documentation for each and every app which is available like this. The next question would be, okay, now I understand that I, I would require this app for my, land, uh, for my business, but how do I go ahead and what are the minimum requirements for the implementation of this app? So uh, we don't have to go anywhere else uh, because the information is already provided here. So if you see in the information, uh, implementation information, you get all the informations around what all relevant nodes are available, which are specific to this particular app, which you need to uh, utilize for the implementation of this particular Fury app of uh, uh, my travel request. Uh, from the back end, the front end, which all is, uh, what are the minimum number of uh, support packs and uh, the software components which are required. So if you see here, this is a direct link to the PAM. So uh, you would be able to see what are the back end versions, what are the configurations which are, which are required, which is the SAP UI5 application which you have to activate in the back end. So uh, people who are already aware of uh, how to utilize SAP Fury, so you would be knowing that we have to activate the Fury apps in the backend, uh, backend system and in, on the Fury app server as well. So the, the transition like SICF and IWFND main underscore services, you have to go there and activate uh, these uh, Fury apps there. So all the relevant information, including the groups, the roles, uh, which will come automatically if you activate these uh, Fury apps would be listed over here. And then this is the further extension of the apps if you are planning to extend these apps further for adhering to your requirements. So similarly, you can access all the 12,300 different apps which are available based on different LOBs or roles or backend products, things like that. Okay, so before moving to the next part of this, uh, presentation, there's a quick poll, uh, which will I request Samitra to post that. Samitra, if you may, please help me to post that poll. Okay, so we just have one question here. since there we have just one question, maybe we can just end the poll now. Samitra, can you please publish the results as well? Okay, good. So the question says, have you already identified the Fury apps which are most relevant to your business? I think uh, the eight responses have come yes. The no's, uh, 
include uh, okay good so i think the next part of the section is specifically for the people who are not yet aware of of uh, which free apps would be relevant for them or how to decide upon how to uh, out of these 12003 uh, 12030 apps which one is the most relevant for my business the next section would be talking specifically around that so uh, we have already seen that uh, out of these apps if we start a kind of a manual activity of identifying that clicking on each one app and see that whether that suits my business or not it's kindly impractical it's actually uh, impractical for us to do that and come up with a actual list of the feria which are relevant for me so for the same reason sap has released this uh, cv report Uh, CV is uh, customer value experience report. So SAP Fury app recommendation is a part of that. So you can order your specific SAP Fury app recommendation report, which is specific to your landscape. It's not a generic report, which means that uh, it will only talk about which all uh, transactions are relevant for your business. We'll quickly see uh, that how we can request this report. So. Uh, there are these two notes which are available uh, you may not uh, try and copy this because these slides would be also shared with all the attendees so we have to implement these two notes we have to collect the data uh, and we have to upload it on this link i'll quickly show you how to do that so once you implement these uh, these notes there is a collector which runs in the background which collects the st03n which is the transitional data of your system and after capturing that you have to upload it on this link so if you go on sap.com/far you would be able to see uh, this kind of a link which will be a uh, a link to get your own uh, customer uh, business specific fury app recommendation report so what you have to do is you have to simply click here getting started here you have to fill in the relevant information about your organization yourself uh, the location of your uh, company and things like that system id for which you want to ex execute this report the installation number of your product system your customer number and which landscape do you have so you can be uh, on sap erp which is uh, can be which can be on any db or even on hana db you can be on s4 hana or you are planning for a movement of sap erp to s4 hana so accordingly you select according to your phase of uh, your landscape and then you have to upload the data which you have extracted in the step number 1 as a zip file so you download this as a zip file upload it over here and just accept, uh, accept these gdpr uh, formalities and then submit as soon as you submit it you will receive an email from uh, our team and the report will be uh, delivered to you within 5 days okay so uh, the quick process of uh, how to implement these notes is also available here i'll quickly open this we'll not get into details of this handbook but just for the completeness of the topic i will quickly run through this report so this is talking uh, this is basically giving you a step by step process of how to execute those notes and how to how you have to download the zip file so we have screenshots plus we have a entire process of downloading uh, the content on with with the zip file and upload it on the uh, that particular link of executing the fury app recommendation report okay so how does it help me so what fury app recommendation report actually does is uh, it uh, collects the transactional data of your system uh after that it basically captures the relevant transactions which you have executed in past 6 months how does it help us it will help us our systems to identify that which are the most relevant fury apps which are specific uh, based on your transactional data which can be implemented by the customer and uh, since you have already selected your landscape that it's on as hana db or sap or any db or s4 hana uh, the report will be customized according to that okay so quickly we will now move to uh, the demo of the fury app recommendation report so once you get this report how would your report look like is the next part of it so you'll get a report something similar to this this is a sample customer report what it talks about is uh, the system id uh, which is your production system id and the current release of your system so this sample report talks about a customer uh, which is having uh, which is on erp 6.0 and having ehp 8 
the first part of the section talks about uh, the fury uh, the things uh, what fury is and what technology is i think we have mostly covered that part but uh, this report is uh, uh, targeted to an audience which is uh, uh, from the customer side i'm talking so this is more from the it managers or the cio or the project managers or the lob owners so this report actually helped them to decide upon that which all business uh, fury apps they would require how they can configure it and uh, 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 which all uh, fury apps would be most relevant based on their transition using uh, so we have already seen that the concept of fury uh, this the se next section talks about it this is a role based access uh, we have single point of access to all the different business applications uh, we have these LOBs, finance, HR, CRM, procurement as defined LOBs for us. However, we have a seamless single point of entry for all the different apps from even from these different modules. It's a role-based access. We have already seen that when I was discussing about uh, the first part of the session. Then it talks about different elements. So you see an overview page of any app which gives a consolidated view of the most relevant uh, 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 most relevant action items or the data which you would like to see. Uh, we even have a list report of all the actionable items or the details of uh, 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 details of any list items which you can click and get further into the object page to see that what are the specific details of that one single business object. So if you would like to assess the value of a particular fury app or by what is the value which you will gain out of uh, implementation of fury we even have a ux value calculator this is nothing but a link which will help you to calculate uh, the opportunity cost uh, which you will uh, try and save if you would yeah, use a person instead of using uh, for a particular task instead of using a fury app so this is a link it will redirect you to uh, this particular link we have different scenarios which are maintained over here you can select any one of your scenarios for example approve the travel request you can provide uh, different uh, uh, values to this the person who is taking uh, what amount what salary is there how much training cost is required what is the data quality you have experienced over the period of time what is the solution accuracy uh, and then finally you show the results so while you click on show the results this will give you the total estimated cost which you will be able to save uh, using this particular scenario so uh, this just gives you a fair bit of an idea this is not an actual one uh, to be very precise but uh, for a business owner or for a it manager or cio this gives them a fair bit of an idea that if you go ahead and implement the different type of fury apps which are relevant for my business how much value can i save overall uh, then we have some more uh, details around the Fury app libraries. I think we have already run through the Fury app library uh, while I was demoing that. I see there are some questions in the chat. And before getting into this uh, report, I will quickly see if there is any relevant one which we can take now. Okay, I'll go. Your attendance part also will cover this session. Is another question, okay? Yeah, okay, so uh, Sanmitra or uh, Nibeta, can I please request you to uh, let me know in case there is a specific question and that needs to be answered in between uh, if it is relevant to the topic, or else we'll take it there. Thank you. Uh thank you okay uh, so now uh, we'll move on with this uh, with the fury app recommendation report so if you see uh, the executive summary actually gives you a list of all the top 10 different line of businesses where uh, you see uh, uh, that these are the most relevant uh, fury apps which are uh, which is based on your transactional usage so you see uh, that why we have listed uh, these uh, Fury apps over here is because uh, for this particular customer, we see that the usage of the transition V is 0, 02, 0, 01, VF03, etc. is is on uh, uh, is on a higher side. Similarly, from sources and procurement, the transition Amigo, ME221N, and uh, ME22N are being used uh, very extensively over the period of time. 
So by capturing that transactional data, we actually come to a conclusion that these are the roles under which we can have our uh, different Fury apps which are available uh, for the customer. So what we do is we simply, if you want, you can even click on this particular role and can go directly travels to the Fury app library, uh, which is a direct link there. So it will take you directly to this particular Fury app library link. You need not have to go to li library link and have to search it specifically. But if you simply click here, this will redirect you uh, to that app. So the process remains the same. Uh, you just check the implementation information. So check the key features via the application document. Check the implementation information. Uh, maybe you can cascade that information to your uh, IT owners from the basis side. They will implement this and then you're good to go from there. Okay, so uh, similarly, we have different LOBs which are listed over here. You can simply click on each one of them and see that which are, which are the most relevant apps which are available there. However, going further, we have recommendations based on different LOBs as well. Uh, so here we have uh, eight different LOBs around which we generally uh, provide the information to the customers. So these LOBs are finance, HR, social and procurement, manufacturing, supply, services, marketing and commerce, R&D engineering and asset management. So here, uh, just for the demo purpose, we have just uh, the, the ones which are grayed out. We do not have any recommendations on that. It's just a sample data for you. It is quite possible that you have uh, uh, access some transactions over the period of time, which is categorized in all the eight LOBs. Okay, so how to read this report further is this is, talk, this is talking about your current DB. So we, we have seen at the beginning of this report that this customer was on SAP ERP HP8 and not on HANA DB. So uh, that's why this section, the first section of each LOB is talking about all those uh, Fury apps which are relevant on your current DB. The next section talks about where you see this 14 on SAP HANA. It talks about those apps which you can further use if you move your SAP ERP installation on HANA database. If you're already on S4 HANA, uh, this section would change, which will also tell you that what is the current release on S4 HANA. So it, the first section might say that one on S4 HANA 1809 and 14 on S4 HANA 1909, depending on which apps are relevant. So the numbers can be different. How to drill down further. Uh, so, so you want to see that, okay, currently I have used a certain transition in, in past and which app is relevant based on those transition. I have to just go, come here, click on this section and this will directly take me to the finance head. Here we will see that uh, uh, there is a re uh, there's a recommendation of a uh, Fury app, which is a my spent Fury app. Uh, why this has been uh, listed over here as a recommended report for you, for this customer is because uh, they have used a transition which is belonging to a controlling area. So this app, if uh, you want to see again that what is what are the minimum requirements, what are the installation requirements for this app, you have to simply click here. And as we have seen earlier, this will take us directly to the Fury app library. Right. The things, the rest of the things remains the same that you go with the app documentation, see that how you want to implement that and uh, post that you can uh, just uh, run it through your tip systems. Okay, uh, I'll go back further. Within the finance LOB, if you want to see that, okay, today I am not on SAP HANA database, but if I, let's say, plan to move on HANA database, which is SOH, then what all apps would be relevant and which all roles it will fall under. So if you click on the next section, uh, then again, this will take you to a different uh, recommendations. So for example, under the controller, if you go, you will see the different list of all the Fury apps which are relevant for, for, for your landscape. This is very, very specific to the customer and why so we have already discussed that. So why this is relevant for this particular customer is because in the past they would have used some transactions uh, under this area. So similarly, uh, it is showing the relevant apps for the sourcing and procurement. You simply click here, come here and see which all, uh, which all roles are there, for which role, which app is available and based on the documentation and the business need, you can plan to implement those Fury apps. So uh, the idea here is 
So as a customer, if I need to decide out of uh, that entire list of laundry list of 12,030 apps, it is practically impossible for me to decide upon each and every Fury app which is relevant for my business. However, this particular reports help us as a customer to drill down only to those few specific ones which are most relevant to my business. And also further, it is categorizing it based on the LOBs. So uh, why and how it helps us, uh, maybe as a LOB owner from sourcing and procurement, what an IT manager can do is they can just simply keep a list of all these Fury apps, copy them in one slide, send it to the sourcing and procurement LOB head and ask them and cross check that whether these, LO, uh, these particular Fury apps actually helps them. And same can be utilized for rest of the LOBs. So this helps the customer as uh, uh, from the IT management perspective to uh, keep a cross check on what all uh, LOBs we are maximizing uh, using these Fury apps to the maximum. Okay, so this section is mostly around how do you read the Fury app recommendation report. So I would request in case you are already planning to uh, move on SOP Fury, uh, uh, you have your links now, you simply go on that particular link, request for your specific customer specific Fury app recommendation report and uh, uh, run through it. In the next steps, <clears throat> And uh, since this topic is important, uh, do we have any questions uh, on this topic? Sanmitra, Anvita. Uh, so Pravesh, we do not have questions in line with the Fiori app recommendation. So probably we can uh, finish that and then take up questions. Okay, thank you, Nivita. Okay, so the next part quickly is around how I can utilize the different communities which are available. Uh, so uh, we have, uh, uh, we, uh, this particular section will uh, take me to the main page of SAP Fury. Uh, I would not deep dive, uh, deep dive into this section because it's not much relevant for now. We've already seen the value map, which is digital innovation value map where we can see uh, guided uh, uh, approach of how we can implement uh, Fury apps in our landscape. The next section talks about uh, the RDS option, which is rapid deployment uh, solution option, which is an accelerator service provided by SAP. So this is a paid service from SAP side, which will help you to accelerate the deployment of your entire Fury app. So this is a good solution. If you are uh, short on your time and want to implement Fury uh, as soon as possible, then RDS option actually helps you doing that. Okay, so this slide is again from the uh, rapid deployment uh, services. I would not get in deep into this topic because this is a paid service. Uh, then we have Lighthouse scenarios. Uh, these are specifically for S4 HANA Cloud and S4 HANA. Uh, so we have given some kind of a lighthouse uh, applications, Fury application for the customers. There are around 83 few, uh, lighthouse scenarios applications, which helps the customer to uh, improve their processes and support the users for the best usage of uh, their businesses. Uh, the last one is around uh, the SAP Fury Maker. This is for the entire community. Uh, we have different communities which are available. Uh, we have design boot camps. Uh, the customers also participate in these boot camps. Uh, they come up with their own uh, custom Fury apps, uh, their design, uh, and then they also submit it and participate in different boot camps. So if you see, uh, you can directly access uh, these Fury Makers community. So you have an access to the different content which are provided by the community via this link. So we have different strategies. This entire link have different forums, the community homes, and things like that. Okay, so this fair, fairly covers the entire Fury app recommendation report. So once you get your Fury app, app recommendation report, uh, if you are able to read through it based on the session which we have today, good enough. If not, you can also request your ESC to conduct a session for you that for your Fury app recommendation. Okay, so quickly, I think we have already completed Fury app. These are some of the success stories. So what our customers talks about after the deployment of uh, the Fury apps, these are some of the quotes uh, from different customers. Uh, 
I think since the slides would be also shared with you, you can run, uh, run through it, but let me just try and run one of the videos from the customer. Fonterra's world-class dairy products are enjoyed by millions of families around the globe. The dairy nutrition company is one of New Zealand's only truly global businesses, and every delicious glass of milk or stick of butter starts with fresh milk from grass-fed cows. But consumers want more than just great taste. Increasingly, food safety and product traceability matter too. In fact, 69% of consumers surveyed cite commitment to food safety as a reason for choosing a retailer. 84% believe food retailers and manufacturers are most responsible for food quality and safety. And 91% say it's important to know where their food comes from. Fonterra earns the trust of its consumers every day by using the highest quality ingredients and adhering to meticulous manufacturing practices. The company's plant in Copton, Australia is a good example. Here, Fonterra recently worked with SAP Innovative Business Solutions to improve critical manufacturing processes. Then, they used SAP Fiori to simplify more than 200 processes and the results are amazing, including virtually eliminating normal processing errors. Fonterra employees are now turning out great tasting dairy products with even greater manufacturing control in the inside. For consumers around the world, it's just one more reason you can rely on New Zealand's Fonterra to deliver trust of goodness. Okay, so that's primarily the end of uh, my session today. Maybe we can quickly run through the third poll. Zanmitra, please help me to run through the third poll, please. Yeah, uh, before we run into the third poll, we have just two minutes. Uh, if anybody have any questions, uh, please raise your hand and we can unmute yeah. you uh, sure. so that we can take a couple of questions. Uh, uh, Amol, uh, I think uh, you had a question. So you are unmuted now. You can right away use your microphone to ask your question. A look. Sanmitra, there are already some questions on the Q and A. So it is better that you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll the take questions the... from the Q and A. So do you want me to read we... the question? Yeah, I will do that. So uh, uh, Chaitanya is asking that hi team after this overview session. Uh, is it will cover the native app built by Node.js and XSGS, which will be great help to us. Uh, so for this session, it was an overview session for SAP Fury and how to decide upon the relevant Fury apps for your system. This session covers only the standard Fury apps which are delivered by SAP. So we will not cover any uh, development related activities under this session. In future, I would leave that decision to Indus whether they want to uh, have that session or not. Uh, uh, just to add here, Chaitanya. So, like, uh, if you want some more additional insight on that, you can just access Value Map and check for the relevant uh, uh, content on uh, EGIs. So, EGIs are uh, expert guided implementation, and alternatively, you will also be having MTE recorded sessions. So, maybe some of the content might uh, help you to understand these topics. Let's yes, go to the next one from uh, uh, Sorry, Kwan Pravesh. Yeah, Avni says that do we have any application which gives us the data of the usage of the Fury tiles? Uh, we do not have any application, but we do have uh, notes uh, which are available. Rather, I will, if my screen is shared, let me just quickly run through a blog which I have sent to one of my colleagues today that will help you to maybe see that. So I will, sh I will copy this link and share it in the chat. So this, uh, you can refer this link, which will help you to identify which all apps are you are using currently in your landscape. So this, uh, we have different notes which are uh, which are available for this as well, and uh, how to uh, access and check the usage of the Fury. You can even go through this video. This blog is existing. These two notes are available, which is for the monitoring of the SAP Fury app technology. Just put it on the chat, please, right away, so that yeah. everyone can. Yeah, it's Santosh here. Yeah, Santosh. Yes. Yeah. Uh, actually, we are using S4 HANA 1909 version is there. And uh, we are planning to uh, implement the Fury for attendance. Since we are capturing the in and out punches from the third party vendor. And those all punches updated in InfoType 2011. So those data we are planning to implement in S4 HANA uh, Fury. So related any app or uh, we will cover 
in the session or any guidance from your side so as i said santosh uh, so you can go on the fury app library and can check uh, the apps which are available over here as a part of a standard app if you do not see any app which is relevant which is covering your business case of attendance monitoring then you have to either uh, build a custom app for yourself or uh, maybe you try and leverage the existing some of the apps which is kind of uh, not completely uh, adhering to your business need but uh, some of the part of it okay okay you can uh, as also shared earlier you can access uh, the uh, the value map where which also talks about how to how to build your custom apps okay thanks thanks a lot Uh, so there seems to be a few questions on the chat as well uh, apart from the Q&A i think there's one on the Q&A and there are uh, some on the chat if you can just go through and uh, 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 a time check as well quick time check yes so we are already in short of time i think kumar from here from tvs uh, yeah. i want to have there are some standard apps are available those apps are uh, we need to modify it based on our recommendation uh, our uh, requirement so if that is possible how to do that that is one second is we want to combine some four or five standard apps and to make it as a single app uh, how to make that is it standard any solution is there or we need to do a custom build yeah so that was the first one uh, you would need to customize that app and the customization of the existing standard apps is possible uh there are uh, blogs published by sap experts development team uh, which talks about how you can customize the standard apps which is available on the uh, uh, on sap forums as well if you want we can maybe later on uh, uh, try and provide that information kindly provide your email address in the chat and we'll provide you that the second question is with regards to clubbing of different standard apps into one Uh, for this scenario there is no standard procedure as such but uh, what you can do is you have to do only go ahead with the custom app not even customization so if you want to uh, in include multiple features of different apps uh, it is also important for you to identify that how that will impact uh, the performance of your application uh, because it will uh, anyways uh, since the fury apps are based on the design principles of ui ux Uh, so it would be mostly the things like you have to have minimum three clicks on any screen, and uh, the total number of response time should be less than three seconds, and things like that. So you might have to uh, see all those parameters to ensure that if even if you are trying to club five or six different apps into one, how does it adhere to that? So it will be mostly the custom app for that matter. so uh, sanmatra as uh, we answer the questions can you also post the poll uh, the final poll yeah yes nivetha the final poll is out now hope you are able to see it yes so there was one question by uh, mohammad mehboob alam as well uh, is the recommended apps are free to incorporate in our installation yes absolutely so uh, all the applications which are provided by sap as a standard fury apps you can activate them uh, just need to ensure that you have fury app server with you and uh, the configurations which are available uh, as a part of uh, installation of fury apps just make to ensure that all these things are in place and all the 12000 30 apps based on what kind of db you are and what kind of installation do you have in your system you can implement any one of them okay so i think alok is uh, trying to ask a question alok uh, we can't hear you uh, if you may want to try again now okay i think he's put his question on the chat we still can't hear him so uh, can i get a dashboard like bibo in fury <laughs> yes we can uh, definitely we can uh, we have different uh, chart libraries which are available uh, within fury for development so if you are looking for a similar kind of a dashboard you have to first of all check on the in the fury app library that uh, if uh, an existing app can fulfill your business need if not you have to go ahead and build your own custom uh, custom app and in fury which can bring the same look and feel as, as that of bibo so devdas has a question around whether it is chargeable or uh, do we require a separate license in order to start using 
So uh, from the licensing side, I believe that you need to check with your account executive, but mostly uh, Fury actually is part of S4 as far as I know. Uh, but if you are on ERP, please check with your account executives on the licensing part. There's a question from Chaitanya as well. So if you can just answer that. Integration card is there in UI file like Fury portal. Can we develop as like Fury dashboard? Uh, at least I couldn't understand the question. Maybe <laughs> if you can understand. Yeah. So uh, Chaitanya, yes, uh, to an extent, yes, uh, we, can, we can build Fury dashboard. But again, this requires a lot of custom development uh, to uh, get that requirement done. So, uh, Within trust, uh, if you would have seen the UI5 library, I'm not talking about the app library, I'm talking about the UI5 elements library. You will see, rather, I will just open it for the completeness of the topic for the people who are interested in custom development. So, uh, you would see that we have a lot of uh, different UI elements which are available. Uh, you can access any of these UI elements while you are using your while you're building your custom apps. So uh, we also have some samples available over here, and these are all the UI elements. So uh, we just now had a question around the uh, the the reports part, BIBO reports. So if you see, we have something called charts. Uh, you can have different charts available. Let me just out so we have all these links so what you can do is you can just simply click on any one of uh, of these and see that how it looks like we how the breadcrumb would look like we have demo apps also available uh, under this so kindly just go through this app lab uh, ui element library for any of your requirements to fulfill on under custom apps So we have samples, you can even click on here, can see how it will look like. You can have the entire code also. For example, if you want to just see and utilize the existing code, what you can do is you can go here, like the, the path which I've taken, you can go and download this. So if you download this, this will give you the entire source code of this particular screen, which you're currently seeing. Or if you want, you can even go to the source code from directly from here and can copy and paste this source code and try and run this entire application. So you need not even have to do the entire coding by yourself. If you are well versed and know that how would you utilize this uh, platform. So entire code is available. Any, any further questions you have in the chats? Uh, hi. Uh, yes. Yeah, Kumar from TVS. Uh, there are certain requirements where the user wants this Fiery application to go as a uh, attached to mail. Is this possible to schedule this report as the attached, like any uh, reports uh, as a send as a attachment to the mail to the user? Is that functionality available? Are you talking about an attachment as a link to a Fury app uh, or this 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 pasted in the mail itself? Normally we do this. Uh, any PDF and reports and all, or some as a body content, we send it. Like this, we want to have this fairy application as a body content and send it to the user in a scheduled. They may not log on to the fairy application, but they see okay. this report. So uh, this any any research. report or a dashboard which you already have on the screen, is that what your question is? Yeah, there, there is some fairy application I have, we have found out. We want to send it as a mail attachment to the user. The screenshot of the screen. Yes, exactly. As a regular, we uh, need a job, so it goes to dynamically takes data, like what we do it in SM36 and do that in. Uh, correct, uh, I got your point. So, see. Uh, want to do it in Fairy. Correct. So, uh, as far as I know, we do have an option to download the data of uh, the screen, uh, but not a screenshot of a screen. Uh, what you have to basically check is under the development part of it. I'm part of enterprise support. May not be the best person to answer that, but definitely a dev team can help you on that if we can actually do that. But 
as far as I know, we can download the data. For example, if we have this table and you want a screenshot of this table to be attached to an email, you, I'm not sure whether we can do a screenshot, but yes, we can have a download button over here, which will download the data of this Excel, uh, this, uh, this table into an Excel, and then you can forward it to the customer or whatever the user you have. Thanks, but my requirement is automatically system should background do the right. same. I got a point. Such solution. You might have to check uh, the development team on that. Sure. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, a Ravish, small maybe... uh, request. So, yeah, with the interest of time, what I would request everybody is to also register for the value maps for which we had a demo today. Uh, and uh, each of your uh, questions can be addressed by a focus advisor there who would get in touch with you. We also have an option of request a call back and scheduling a meeting uh, in this value maps or digital innovation value maps under which this topic SAP Fiori comes under enterprise support. There you, you get access to the experts as well as you can collaborate with your peers also. So request everybody to register for this value maps and we will be happy to help you with any specific questions in this forum also. So with the interest of time, maybe uh, any final questions or Pravesh over to you for the last uh, call from your end. So Pravesh, maybe we can take one more question. We have Mr. Vimal Raj who has posted his query. So currently we are on uh, S4 HANA 1809 and can we activate Lighthouse apps without trouble? Okay, so uh, with each of the Lighthouse app, again, as we have seen in uh, in the Fury app library, we have a specific app uh, uh, requirements. So you might have to check that which particular Fury uh, Lighthouse app you want to activate and see if it is compatible with your current release of S4HANA. Okay, so but yes, you can, if, if it is available and compatible with that. Okay, so if no further questions, uh, one important ending and note from my side, uh, which has also been highlighted by Sanmitra, the value map is a one, one stop shop for each one of you who is attending this session. We, we have talked about different things under this Fury implementation and each and everything can be accessed via value map. Uh, we have different learning journeys as we have talked about. Uh, the important part here is that you can also ask the question, which is very rightly highlighted by Sanmitra. Asking questions to the experts can help you to get the answers to uh, your queries. So if you, how to ask the questions, if you go to the explore value map, go to digital innovation value map, and here you can click on this button, which says ask questions. So you as a customer can start a discussion or request a callback or ask a question directly from here or give a feedback. So our experts would call you back or maybe uh, revert to your questions on the same forum. So kindly use this jam page and jam link for all your questions around this topic. Additionally, we do have events on a re regular basis. If you click on the events, there are some EGIs which are planned. Uh, you can see here, I think the most relevant for us uh, would be, it's already under process, uh, was planned for EGI for SAP Cloud Platform Discovery Workshop which was in English. So similarly, we would be also putting up different events coming on this page, jam page. Thanks, Pravish. Uh, yeah, thanks everybody for attending the session. With the interest of time, uh, maybe uh, Pravish, uh, we are available in the Value Maps uh, forum also. Uh, please do reach out to us and we will be happy to answer all your questions there. Uh, so have a good so, day, everyone. So before yeah. before you just conclude, uh, uh, Sanmitra, I think this is the meetings. Uh, the meeting uh, that we did just now is a monthly call. So yeah. every month at the same time, uh, you will have a, a session uh, on and uh, how to leverage uh, enterprise support. So the registration that you have done is valid for all subsequent sessions. So you will get a reminder email um, for every session that we are planning. So please do join and spread the word uh, uh, so that you know more people or more customers can actually benefit from these sessions. Okay, then Thank uh, thanks everyone for attending and see you in the next session. Yeah, have a good day. Thanks, Thank Pravesh. You.
Thanks, Niveta. Take care. Thanks, Mukesh. Thank you all. Thank you all Thanks, for joining. Everyone. Take care. Bye. Okay, thank bye. You. bye. bye.